question from Yunus Rahou E from Holland. I have watched almost all your videos and debates. I am a big fan of you. And inshallah, one day I will become like you. Inshallah. Inshallah, better than me. Someone dies at the age of 20 and while some at the age of 60. Is it not unfair for the one who died at 20 because the one who died at 60 had more time to receive Hasanat? It's a good question posed by the brother that if there are two people, one person dies at the age of 20, one person dies at the age of 60, isn't it unfair for the person who died at the age of 20 that he had less chances of doing good deeds and getting Hasanat? The same thing can be posed in another way. That isn't it unfair for the person at the age of 60 that he died after so many years. He was distracted by the devil for a longer time, by the shaitan and had more time of doing evil as compared to the person who died at the age of 20. Brother, depends upon the perspective how you are looking at it. Whether that at the age of 20 or 60, I do agree with you, there are chances of doing good deeds. If you live longer, but there are chances of doing bad deeds also. You may not know that the person at the age of 20 was very good on the straight path, later on he diverts and at the age of 60, he starts doing things which are against the Sharia, starts doing shirk and goes to Jahannam. So it is not depending upon how long you live, it is how well you live is important. When you have an examination, you study for the full year, some papers are only for one hour and the full year's test is taken by the teacher in one hour. Some examination paper are for three hours. Some examination paper are two parts. Part one, three hours. Part two, three hours. Irrespective of that, depending upon the type of question asked, the judgment is given for the full year. Similarly, whether you live for 20 years or 60 years, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ilm gap. He has knowledge of the future. For him to test a person, he can test even in one minute. What you cannot test in maybe 80 years, he can test in one minute. For Allah, it's very easy. So, according to me, it doesn't make a difference whether the test was for 20 years or for 60 years. And it is not an advantage, neither disadvantage. It is one type of a test. So, based on what you have, how well you lead is important rather than the time. So, it is not unfair at all. It is not unjust at all. It is pros and cons. Depends upon it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best to judge. He is the most wise, he knows how to judge and on the day of judgment, no human being will ever complain to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you are unjust. They will only say that, please forgive us, Allah will say it's too late. So the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so accurate. Allah says in the Quran, Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 40, Allah is not unjust in the least degree. Hope that answers the question.